You have no power over your children of God. These are the chosen children of God. And you have no power over them. Oh, Father God, answer each and every heart tonight.
to bless us tonight. Bless your people, O oh Heavenly Father. When we come out of here, O oh Heavenly Father, may our hearts be changed, O oh Heavenly Father. Not just to hear a wonderful preaching, but O oh Heavenly Father, may we hear you speaking unto our souls, O oh God. It's my prayer tonight, O oh blessed Savior. Won't you bless your people, O oh Heavenly Father, all that may hear the reading of your word, may they be blessed. Dear Heavenly Father, we commit this in, the, in Thee, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we turn our Bibles to the book of Exodus chapter 3? And uh, we'll start by, uh, from verse 6. God speaking to Moses. He says, Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, unto a good and, and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hevites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the, the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know if we have it in. Um, I can tell you, it's very more. the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. We may take our seats. Amen. 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 Um, we want to speak this evening just shortly on the fear of the Lord. Amen. 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 But before we get there, I want to bring your attention to verse 8 where he said, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egyptians. So God says, I have come down to deliver my people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he says in verse 10, verse 10, come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Amen. So God has come down to deliver his people. But he says to Moses, I want to send you to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the children of Israel see Moses speaking to Pharaoh, it is God having come down to deliver his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So even today, 
in the message, when we see the message speaking to us, it is the same God having come down to deliver us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because indeed we are living in another Egypt. And we are in an exodus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is something we need to see, friends. That we are living in Egypt. And we must come out of this Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must recognize the Moses of our day. Because God does not change his ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the message of the hour is not just any other preaching. But it is God having come down to deliver us to take us unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first exodus took people out of Egypt to take them into Canaan. The second exodus took people out of the law and bring them into grace. So the third exodus is taking us out of this flesh that shall not inherit the kingdom of God and taking us into the promised land which is the glorified body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Taking us out of this world and taking us into another world. Taking us out of this civilization to take us into a faith civilization. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this life, the civilization is technology. That, that is why we so depend on the jobs that we have. But we are called unto a faith civilization. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And brother, sister, you've got the power right now. You've got the power to live into in, in that world right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have seen a man who lived in this world meaning he lived in this civilization as if he was already in that civilization he could travel like a thought hallelujah, hallelujah. He, could, he could see the things in the spirit world he could see and hear the demons screaming hallelujah hallelujah in the spirit world he could speak to the animals he could bring things into existence not for himself hallelujah hallelujah but for us to see an example in him. hallelujah hallelujah because he pointed us not to himself he pointed us to Christ hallelujah hallelujah so when we look at Christ hallelujah hallelujah we should be able to do exploits hallelujah hallelujah we should be able to to break into that world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it takes a sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It takes us to be more sincere. It takes us to be more than church members. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I said I want to speak on the fear of the Lord. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 20, the Bible says, Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep you in the way and to bring thee into the place I have prepared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this angel will be the one that brings us into that place that God has prepared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not for he will not pardon your transgressions for my name is in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We're not talking about the prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we're talking about the angel of this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the angel of this hour is not a man from the earth. But it is God from heaven. Heaven come down himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To take us into the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must know what who the message of the hour is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The message of the hour is not just books that we carry. The message of the hour is not the prophet. The message of the hour is the message the prophet brought to us. The message of the hour is the Lord Jesus Christ. The message of the hour is the word made revealed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we worship the message of the hour. Not a doctrine. Not a denomination. But we worship the Lord Jesus Christ. The word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So who is the word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word is God himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one that created the heavens and the earth. Yo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said I want to speak on the fear of the Lord. But I want to speak to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You make your choice if this speaks to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want the Lord to speak to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, we must Note this angel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we must not provoke him. How do we provoke him? By doubting his word. The father of John the Baptist. When the angel came to him. Told him the great news. He doubted. Hallelujah. 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 And the angel said to him, Because you have doubted my word, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not be able to speak until these things come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when the angel came to Mary, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary asked the question, How can these things be? Seeing I know no man. And the angel said, don't worry Mary the angel of the Lord God himself will overshadow you but listen to what Mary said she said, she said let it be unto me according to thy word she never doubted brother sister she looked at nature and she recognized it is not possible to be with child without a man. But because the angel spoke it, she accepted the word of the angel. She did not say it is not possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you look, brother, sister, Mary and the father of John said the same thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is not the words that they uttered, but it is what was in the heart. Mary wanted to understand, but the father of John doubted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we provoke the angel by doubting. We provoke God by doubting. We provoke him by, by fearing. Not fearing him. But fearing the things of the world. Fearing the circumstance around us. He said, I am God. And I change not. He is the Almighty. He is, the, he is Elohim. The self existing one. There is no limit to his power. So there is no limit for God in your condition. There is no limit to God in my condition. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when God says, you can speak to this mountain. And if you do not doubt in your heart, it shall happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the one that spoke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must believe what he says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If my wife doubts me, I say, no, I will do this for you. I will buy this for you. If she doubts me, then I've got no more energy to fulfill it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If my children doubt me, I say to them, no, I will buy you that bicycle. It does not matter if it takes 10 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if I say I will buy you that bicycle, and they doubt me, then I am free from my bond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they are doubting my word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if they can hold on to my word, even after 10 years, when I'm on my own, I will remember the words and say, I promised that boy the bicycle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we doubt God, then God is not obligated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we doubt Him. In fact, we are provoking Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must not doubt God. We must not doubt God's commandment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must not we must not be relaxed with the things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must mean business with the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, if thou should obey the angel's voice and do all that I speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the voice of the angel is God speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the prophet says, I am God's voice to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So who, who is speaking there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the prophet speaks, that is why we read the message. That is why we quote the message. Because it is God speaking to God us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want us to stumble, friends. We, we speak like this because we know the this message is being cast on YouTube. No, no, no. It's, it's being broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there might be people listening that do not understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I don't want them to stumble. We do not worship William Brennan. But the message that he spoke, the message that he preached, is God himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must take a listen to the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must not only read the message, but we must also listen to the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must walk in the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this message is taking us out of Egypt into the promised land. It's taking us out of Egypt into the promised land. It's taking us out of Egypt into the promised land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our worship must be more, more sincere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet was told if you can be more sincere, not even cancer will stand before you. If you can be more sincere and get the people to believe you, not even cancer will stand before you. Hallelujah. That word is still standing even today. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That word has not been taken out. God never took that word back. If we can be more sincere friends. If we can be more sincere friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing can stand before us. There is no need that can stand before us. There is no situation that can stand before us. If we can be more sincere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must move from the natural into the celestial. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some time ago, we spoke about if you want to go to America. Before you get to America, you must come to an America in South Africa. You must go to the embassy of America. And that embassy will be the one that will give you the right to go to America. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The laws of America operate in that embassy. That embassy is in South Africa. But inside that embassy, the laws of America operate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not South African law. South Africa. Even the police inside the embassy. It is American. They operate by American law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you get into the airplane. And you fly to America. It gets to a point. Where they say South African law is no more. Then American law operates. When the aeroplane is still in the air. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if it is possible in the natural. It is certainly possible in the spiritual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is possible for us to live. By, by, by the laws of heaven. While we are still here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you go to a foreign country. You, 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 you want to know what the weather is like. You want to know what sort of food do they eat that side. You want to know what, what, what sort of language do those people speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that when you get to that land, you are, you are, you, you are well prepared. When you know that the land you are going to, it is winter. You don't take summer clothes. If you go to America today, you want to find out what is the weather that I must I take my jacket or must I take my short sleeves? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to find out what is the condition on that side. So you prepare yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even in the spiritual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must find out what is the weather like <laughs> in the promised land. What sort of what sort of faith is applying that side? What sort of civilization is operating that side? And we start practicing the language. We, we, we start practicing how to say good morning. In the language of the land we are going to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that when we get to the other side. We will know how to communicate. So we must start practicing our muscles of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that side. On the faith operates. Hallelujah. There is no doubt there. Hallelujah. So we must start practicing our muscles of faith. When you have a headache. 
Put the grandpa away. Biala grandpa kwa. Put the panado away. Biala panado kwa. Start practicing your faith. So mau dunia hacha tumelo ya hao. Start practicing your faith with the head. So mau dunia dunia hacha tumelo ya hao kwa kuremo kifo. Start practicing your faith with the head. So mau dunia hacha tumelo ya hao kwa lino lele rema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So your faith can grow. Or tumelo ya kwenye ugola. So my faith can grow. Or tumelo ya kwenye kwenye ugola. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there's a body to be changed. Kwa nani wana limelo? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the change of the body applies on your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody will be surprised that side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you make it that side, you will not be surprised that ah, Linda, I made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it will be a process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your faith must grow. Must grow. To the point where this body cannot take it anymore. Like when you put sugar in your tea. You pour sugar in your tea. And you stir the tea. You see the sugar in the tea. Or you feel the sugar in the tea with your spoon. But it must get to the point where the sugar disappears. The sugar, the sugar must dissolve into the tea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even this body. It must get to a point where it just dissolves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It must dissolve into the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where you and the word of God become one. Where there can be no separation between you and the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it takes sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be more sincere, friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our, our worship must not be common. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It must not be common that, ah, oh, no, it's, when, it's Tuesday we go to church. Oh, Sunday we go to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must fear God. Not fear because we are afraid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But fear because we respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word fear means respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet says, I fear my brother. I fear the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I fear my sister. He's saying, I respect the church. I respect my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I respect this place. Hallelujah. 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 So we must respect coming to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it is time, time to go to church, we must respect that time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have time for everything. We have time to go to school. We have time to go to, to work. We have time to go shopping. We must have time to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we heard on Friday last week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That worship does not start in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship starts at home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're sitting in the taxi, we must be under worship. When, when the piano is playing in the taxi, in our heart we must be in worship. We must get to a point where we don't hear the pianos in the taxi anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet was once in a restaurant. And they were playing music in the restaurant. The people that he was with, they said, Brother Brenham, don't you hear this music? Don't you hear this worldly music? He said, I'm in another world. Hallelujah. We must be in another world. Where the things of this world cannot touch us anymore. Where the things of this world cannot influence us. Hallelujah. We must be in such a condition, brother, sister, where all things are possible. Hallelujah. 
all things, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be able to speak. And things happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must speak the condition that you desire. And wait for to see it manifesting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It must be a reality. This message must be a reality. It must not be just a religion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It must be a reality. In our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to what the prophet says. Uh, I'll close very quickly. Hallelujah. In the message, investments. Uh, investment. He says you can be so fundamentally right. Yet the promise of God is based upon a condition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says they was keeping their sacrifices just as reverent as they could. Do, doing what the Lord told them. Yet without that sincerity behind it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were keeping what God told them. But without the sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says offerings. It became a family tradition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It became a tradition. Doing God's will. Doing what God commanded. Became a tradition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says that's where we're taking Pentecost. A family tradition. He says, got to get more sincere than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, you expect God to answer these blessings and promises. Hallelujah. Remember, I said I'm speaking to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This means more to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You choose if this means more to you also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he says, I expect God to answer on these blessings and promises. So I'm putting my name in it. He says, you come back to the sincerity of that word. So I must come back to the sincerity of this word. What the word says, stay with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, now this prophet was fundamentally right. When God divided up the land that Joshua gave to that is to, uh, that Joshua gave that to Israel. And he was and here was the enemies befilling their bellies with, with the wheat that was raised up at Ramoth. And fundamentally right. But you see, it was on conditions. And then prophets or ministers prophesying was exactly right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To this man of God, Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, there seemed to be something a little contrary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when them 400 prophets, they prophesied, saying, no, you can go and take Ram of Gilead. But to this one man, to, to Jehoshaphat, to King Jehoshaphat, something was just not right. He could feel that something is not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must also get to that, friends. Where we can feel when something is just not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not just to go on with the multitude. You say, oh, the numbers are going that way. I will just follow. Oh, no, the church is full. Oh, we just follow. Oh, no, the whole church is saying amen. Oh, the whole church is saying amen. Oh, the whole church is saying amen. 
we also just say amen. We must get to a point, brothers. Where the word of God from deep within our hearts. It is the one that guides us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When something is not quite right. We must be like Jehoshaphat. To feel when something is not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jehoshaphat said, Isn't there one more? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't there just one more scripture? Isn't there just one more quotation? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more. Safety faith. You can imagine, brother, sister. After hearing 400 prophets, four Hebrew prophets. Baba Heber. Not Hivite prophets. Not Jebusite prophets. But Hebrew prophets. Something just did not sound right. He said, isn't there just one more? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It seemed ridiculous, brother. How can you doubt 400? And ask just for one more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must know when something is not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be more sincere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, so here he seen there was something wrong. He said, isn't there one more? And they told him, yes, there is one more. Micah, the son of Imla. But he said, I hate him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the true prophets of God are always hated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. True men of God they are always hated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they don't they don't nurse our feelings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't pat you on the back. And say it's okay, you can live anyhow. You can do as you please. Just 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 throw in there in the offering plate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is not about just coming to church. And how much you can offer. How much you can tithe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word is always cutting, brother sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it wants to separate us from the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have a glory to go to. We have a heaven to go to, brother sister. We must not just be relaxed with the things of the world because we have a heaven to go to because we have a prize to win amen amen a prize to win we have a crown to win hallelujah hallelujah he said, said they, so they sent him to come Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when they were calling Micah, they told him, Now, listen, Micah. 400 prophets. I can just, let me just put this here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just put this in. Now, Micah. 400 ministers in the message have put it like this. Bible so. You must also put it like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it needs it, it needs to get to that, brother sister. Where you can stand alone with God. It does not matter how many ministers. How many preachers. Put it anyway. You stand with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It does not matter how many church members see it somehow. You stand with the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to make us, I'm not trying to preach indifference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you stand with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It does not matter if in I, brother, sister. 
If I preach anything contrary to the word, you leave the man and stay with the word. It does not matter how respectable the man is. When the man deviates from the word, you stay with the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't it that Paul said it? Paul said it. Even if an angel from God preaching something contrary to this word, he says, let him be a guest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must fear God more than men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must respect God more than men. And stay with the word. Hallelujah. 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 So Micah said to them, As the Lord liveth, As the Lord lives, I will only say what he puts in my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what Micah told them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we will only stay with what God says. We will only do what God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say what the tape says. That's what the that's what the prophet advised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me also put this here. In the message, ministry explained. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, watch the order of the way. Watch the order of the way. And you shall receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you watch the order. And you will receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said you shall have it. First you believe. First you believe you've got it. Then it will be given to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it will not be given to you if you don't believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your promises will not be given to you if you don't believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't believe the pastor is your gift, you will not receive him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not believe the promise that he speaks. If you don't believe the prophet is your gift, you won't receive the blessing of the prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the order of the weight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the order of God. We must believe his word. Then we shall receive the promises of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got three minutes. Let me close with this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go read Ezekiel chapter 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things in the in the Old Testament. Are in type so that we can learn from them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are not just stories. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must seek for the meaning of those stories. We must seek for the meaning of, 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 of those written words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel It talks about those six men of those men with the with the with the destroying weapons in their hands. And one man clothed in linen. And one of them wearing linen clothes. And linen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Message believers know what linen is, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With an ink horn on his side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he was told, go and mark them. Go mark them in their foreheads. All those that cry and mourn. For, for the abomination that is being done. And after he has marked them, 
the men with the destroying weapons were, were let loose. They were let loose to go and destroy. And they were told, destroy all. Don't have pity. Start even in my house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So those angels, those destroying angels, they were told, start in the house of God. Start destroying in the house of God. All those that are comfortable, with the condition of this world. All those that are comfortable with the abomination that is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And save only those that are crying for the abomination. Saying, oh Lord, come. Oh Lord, come and save us. Oh Lord, come and take us out of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be more sincere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be more sincere, friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me close with this. Let me close with this. Yeah, let's close with this one. Uh, in the message, oh my! In the message, redemption by power. The prophet is talking about uh, Brother Spurgeon. He says an old Methodist preacher. Amen. Amen. An old Methodist preacher. Let us pray that what's coming now is not going to be us. He says, we let down the bars. We let down the bars. We compromised with sin. We let down the bars. The ship got out. How did the, get, the goats get in? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, because we let down the bars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, you let down the standard of Christian living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's speaking about Methodists. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, because seminaries hashed out a few pictures and sent them down to compromise with the truth. But the Holy Ghost has always been there to condemn sin. And is tonight standing between the believer and the things of the world. So the Holy Ghost is standing tonight between us, the believer, and the things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, it came between the camp. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Between the camp and the Egyptians. So between the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. When the children of Israel were leaving Egypt. And Moses opened the Red Sea. And they were walking in the midst of the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pillar of fire Pilar came between Israel and the, and, and the Egyptians. It was a cloud of darkness to them. It was a cloud of darkness to the Egyptians. But it gave light by night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the same Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Becomes a light unto us. It becomes darkness unto the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the one does not come near the other. So the word of God. Always brings a separation. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be so separated from the things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must not get close to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say no, we get close. But, but we, we're not on the other side. But we're close. We must be far from the things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not just be fundamental. But we must be sincere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, all right. He says, put on your shockproof jackets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here it comes. So when the prophet says, put on your shock jackets, your shockproof jackets, something strong is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, look, every man that rejects the light, goes blind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every man that rejects the truth, the light of the word, becomes blind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And walks in darkness. Because you do not accept the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says God sends ministers that preach the gospel. He sends he sends signs and wonders among men to a, vindi to, to a vindicate it to, to be the truth. And men reject it. He says then there's nothing left but darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must not reject the word, brothers and sisters. And say, Ish, it's too hard. Oh, it's too rugged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must not reject the truth, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it is rugged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when we reject the message of the hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we reject the sincerity of the word of the hour, we begin to walk in darkness. The prophet says, prophet walk in the light while the light is shining. Receive the light. Christ is the light. He has come to bring light to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But those that reject the light receive darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must receive the light, brother, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the word says, leave the things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must leave them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not say, but no, my church. My church believes in this. No, but we do this in church. No, but my pastor. No, my pastor says it's okay. When the word says leave it, brother, sister. We leave it, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stay with the word. And leave the things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter how nice that song sounds. You know the devil. Ah, he's very sly. Hey, who sly too much? He's very sly. Who sly? He'll take that piano song. Yeah, he'll just put a few gospel words. You know. He'll just put Jesus there. I worship you there. He says amen there. But it's still a piano. It's still jazz. It's jazz. Jazz with amen there. Stay away from the things of the world. Stay with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh no. Oh, wow. No, just you can stay with your WhatsApp. No, WhatsApp is okay. No, we'll share a scripture, one or two scriptures. Before you know it, the whole day is gone on WhatsApp. No, 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 no. No, you can, you, you, you can see those TikTok, you can see those TikToks, you know. Yeah, you can share, you can share those quotes on TikTok. Before you know it, the whole day is gone on TikTok. No time for prayer. No time to read the words. No time to listen to the message. Busy on TikTok. 
Physical TikTok. We must be more sincere, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must be more sincere. Leave the things of the world. Stay with the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walk in the light. And see more of God's word unfolding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The message, the, the prophet preached more than a thousand messages. We've got enough message. We've got enough messages. To keep us busy. We've got enough messages to keep us interested in God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leave the things of the world. May God bless you. Pass it. Let us stand. Amen. Mbami. Hold my tigo. Remember me. Remember, Remember me. Mommy. Hold my tigo. Hold my Hold my tigo. Remember. Remember. Remember me. Mami, oh, Matigo, remember, remember, Mami, oh, Matigo, oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. 
You must fear God because you respect Him because you love Him. We cannot just be church members. We cannot just be ordinary people. We are more than ordinary people. We have received the word from heaven. We have received the word of power. We have received eternal life. We have received the Holy Ghost. We have received Jesus. That is living in our hearts. He is with us. Let us be sincere. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If we are sincere in our hearts, we shall see Him walking in our midst. We shall see Him and we shall feel Him. As we sing for the last time, friends. Can we go there and worship him? Can we pray with sincerity in our hearts? We must never get used to this religion. Because this is more than religion. Hallelujah. We must bring the sacrifices of our hearts with sincerity. For the last time, listen to this song. As we are all going to worship you. Remember me. Remember me.
Let us give him a hand. Can we all worship him? In a loud voice, speaking to him. In the voice of worship, glorifying his holy name. Can we do that with sincerity? Deep down in our hearts, you can speak few words in sincerity. With faith in your heart, those words are enough. Those words are enough. As long as there is sincerity in those words coming from the bottom of your heart. Can we pray, friends? Let us all pray. Mudimwaga. Eke rapela gere unkhupole. Unkhupole kabaka lauri mudimwaga. Koka sunkhupole. Kitoro bala. Mudimwaga, <laughs> Rona Hoshinka Kwejagurubeji Mosibi Mudi. Relawara Mulajawa Tsebujo Hoshelu Kile. Or Sabujamurikan Niti Maranawaka, we must be sincere. Mudimamata Otse, how can we worship God without fear? Even the Bible told us that Noah was moved with fear when he was preparing the ark. Why? Because he was sincere. And because he knew that danger is coming. And he was about to take a flight out of that old world that was about to perish, my Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Almighty God, they were moved with fear, Father God, full of sincerity in their hearts, oh dear God. They were influenced from the world to come, oh dear Father. They had the spirit of the Lord living in them, oh God. The spirit that speaks about the world to come, oh God, was in the heart of Noah. May that the very spirit of the promised land, Father God, be in us right now, oh God. Speak about the world to come, not the one that is about to be destroyed, oh dear God. Oh my God, have mercy, mighty God, have mercy on us, mighty Jesus. You said in your word, if you cannot cut short these days, there is no flesh that is going to be saved, your dear Father, because your children will lose their sincerity in your word, your dear God. May we. Be saved, Father God. May that sighting and crying be in our hearts right now, oh dear God. Oh, Father God, may we be connected to that other world, oh God. We do not want to be to perish with this world, oh dear Father. We do not want to be found wanting in the things of God. Oh, Father God, the spirit of love here creeping into our hearts into the church and amongst the people. I was covering you all over in Namudimwaka. This cover of Taragimami thing I'm a follow with him worker. My Abulu Hoshia Lukila. My body politic is a great cover and a worker. My body in Tahoshia Lukila. My Saka Salaga Hoshia was a felling. Who's got a Taramudimu? There is Taragimaya. What a Gayaga. What in a Hoshi. There is a land beyond this land, Father God. We are in an embassy, Almighty God. Can we live by the spirit of the embassy where we are living in, our dear God? The influence. 
Mudi mudi kwe chaka le fasi la gabori na mure. Kwe chaka le fasi la gabori na mudi mwa. Re wu la boga mudi mwa basa feli nda matawote. Ubu le chika bulo mama tanga gao. Muna wa bora na brada maga gula kwashi alukile. Omo shogu fache, o shogu fala kwashi akam. Di bulo jara di chavi la bora na waka. Re la chayi la kwashi. Kwe la gabu la la mudi mwa. We shall be more sincere, oh dear God, because we fear your word, oh God. Ora wola boga mara na mudi mara na ya pila. Ya wola boga Almighty. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Rebera ka kona mara na waka mami tenge na mo fela mudi mwaka. Kwaora ka sira ka wola kushia ka. Rita sinya ka bila kala fasi ka muga na sinya mudi. Fasile le rapa la chimu mabu bing, le mabu kopo mudi mu. Rika sinya le lo na kushiaka, kono kasi tefa kwa le mara na wak. Le mara la ni pulu chara na karu na mudi mu. O kono fanya kapio le pulu mara na wak. Watsima ni lo kama kaka chona chini linga mara mu tumre. Thank you Jesus. Tushak mara na wak.
Jesus. Can we give him a shout of our influence? Can we be more sincere friends? Can we say praise the Lord? Can we say you need the sincerity of our hearts? In the fear of God. Lord, that we believe the message of the hour. It is more than a religion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Benjamin, come and pray for us. more sincere in our prayer, Lord, in our life, in our everything that we do, Lord, as you require sincerity from us, Lord. May, may bless the one who preached the word to us, Lord. He stand today, Lord, standing as a man. May you give him more, Lord, again. May you give him more inspiration, more revelation of your word, Lord, and our self-worth in listening to this word, Lord. Let not forget these things, Lord. May bless each and every one of us, Lord, and we'll be blessed again to be in your house the following Sunday, Lord, as we ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, we can pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, we are thankful. Fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You do not fear because you are afraid. You fear because you respect. Every word that proceeded out of his mouth to you is a command. Amen. Amen. And you love that word. May God reach it bless you, my precious brother. I was thinking and pondering on this. Rapture is not coming until that time when we take this word serious. The Bible says Noah was moved with fear while he prepared the ark. Just to hear that voice of God, he was moved with fear. Amen. Amen. This is the end time. Let us be more sincere, friends. May God the children bless your heart. How many enjoy the word of God? Let us step inside to the Lord Jesus. God bless you, my precious brother. And dream it again. Amen. 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 This song is also nice. Sister Magagun. Sister Magagun. It's a nice song. Oh, 